Hey guys, question 14, paper one higher. Here are the first five terms of a quadratic sequence. So straight away when you see that, you know it's going to be something to do with n squared. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this quadratic sequence. So first of all, I'm going to write down the sequence again. So I can actually work with it. Find the differences. First difference. So that's 2. That's 4. That's 6. That's 8. Go to the second difference. If that's the same, then we know it's quadratic. Well, they've also told us that in the question. Plus 2. Now it's the second difference. is the same, which means it's a quadratic sequence. So it's something to do with n squared. Because that value is plus 2, okay, we halve that value to make it so it's 1. And that's your coefficient of n squared. So it's 1n squared. Okay, if that was 4, plus 4 each time, then it'd be 2n squared because you have to halve the... Uh, the value. I then write down the quadratic um, sequence, the square numbers to be honest, uh, 149, uh, it was 16, sorry, 16, 25. And then we want to look at the difference between our n squared sequence and our um, initial sequence. So I'm just going to rewrite that sequence that we started with there. So our square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, our sequence questions there, we're going to take the two away to find the difference between them. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we need to work out the nth term of this. Okay, so the difference. Okay, so this is now a this is the linear part. So we work out the nth term of this. Now this is just like counting, isn't it? But starting on 0. So uh, our third, we'd normally we'd find the difference between these which is going up in ones. So it's the one times table minus one. Okay, so it's the one times table minus one. That's what that sequence is there. So we've now got two parts. We've got our quadratic part, and then we've got this part. Okay, and so we're gonna combine these two to give us our uh, answer. So we've got, let's write this down then, so we've got n squared, and then it's a matter of thinking, now, if we start on this, um, we could write plus bracket n minus 1, if we try that, 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 0 is 0, that works for the first term of our sequence, if we then start with 2 squared, so 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, that doesn't work that way around, so it must be n take away n minus 1. Okay, so n squared minus n minus 1. 1 squared 1 take away 0 is works. 2 squared for our second number in our sequence. 2 squared is 4. 4 take away 1 would equal 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 take away 2 is 7. That's our answer. Okay, or you might see it written slightly differently without the brackets, so it might be the same thing, n squared minus n plus 1. Alright, so that's your answer. So steps to this, work out the second difference, then you can um, realise it's a quadratic sequence, you then can know your coefficient of your n squared, you then write out that sequence, compare it to your original, with that difference, which you then find, which is this bit here, you then need to work out the nth term of that, which is n minus 1, and then you need to combine these two terms, these two sequences, the quadratic and the linear, to get to the original sequence. And it's either going to be an add or a subtract, okay, depending on how you set this out. All right. Um, and then the answer, you got n squared minus n minus 1 in brackets, or you could simplify that, expand that bracket out, n squared minus n plus 1. All right.